All right, hey everybody, we're gonna give this uh, Thieves class one more shot. Um, hopefully we are good to go for right now. We'll find out. Um, if you uh, were with us last time we did this, awesome. We had a few technical difficulties with that class. We are going to um, hopefully have much better success today. So I'm gonna get our presentation loading here, hopefully. All right, so we're gonna talk about thieves today. Um, uh, my name is Jackie, in case you uh, haven't been to any of our classes before. Um, I've got a 102 class script from Sarah Harnish from her uh, book called Unstuck. Um, and she's made these available on her website and I can direct you to that if you're looking to do a class of your own for your team. Um, hopefully we are, um, what I'm hoping that you're going to walk out of this class with is a completely different perspective on how you're going to clean your home and why it's so important to kick chemicals and poisons to the curb. Um, and that's why this centers around our Young Living Thieves line. Um, we are going to, we've got a video here, we're going to talk about thieves just for a minute and then um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my story. Uh, so we will get started. I'm a mom of four boys who happen to have the same birthday quadruplets they're nine years old and my husband and I have been married for 12 years and live here in Brownsburg Indiana so having four boys cleaning up is just a constant you always have something to pick up to clean up, some sort of disaster that needs your attention. Before Thieves, all the cleaning was on me. When we switched over to Thieves, that was like one of my favorite things because I was like, oh my goodness, my boys can clean the toilets. This is awesome. Like they can start cleaning up their own messes. They've been using it ever since, ever since we made the switch. They kind of have their own chores and routines and do their own bathrooms and help with laundry. And doing dishes is a breeze now that everybody pitches in. Thieves is really gentle. I don't have to worry about it bothering my skin or wearing gloves or something to protect my skin. It's not a harsh smell or a aroma to it. So we're having another boy to add to our family. I feel really good about bringing a newborn into a home that has safe products and has things that they can be around right away. I don't think we could live without these. My family and I made uh, a slow transition into Young Living products. Here, give me just one second. Maverick! Welcome to my life. Um, we made a slow transition into Young Living products back in 2010. Um, but after I was diagnosed with cancer when I was 18, we uh, dug in a little bit harder started making more transitions into thieves cleaners, using oils for more things instead of over-the-counter medications, um, that kind of thing, and eliminating more and more chemicals out of our everyday lives. Um, after that, and I moved out on my own, I kind of hung out in this limbo space for a little while. Um, where I was staying with friends, and so I didn't have my own place, and I wasn't making a whole lot of money, and so I was trying to save some, I was trying to save some money by using just products out of the grocery store, um, regular stuff um, that seems cheaper. Uh, so I kept, I maintained my 50 PV monthly order for yeah, essential rewards, but that was it. I just kind of ordered the bare minimum. 
any oils that I got kind of lived on my shelf and didn't really get used. I had a couple of supplements that I used and that was it um, for quite a while. But then uh, in 2015, um, my husband and I started dating and he was working at a lead acid battery plant at the time, which was a very, very toxic environment. And so uh, we started doing some research on how to best support his systems while he was there until he, we were able uh, for him to leave, till we were in a position for him to leave. Um, and so one of the recommend, recommendations that we got was to add uh, lemon vitality to his water. And uh, so once we started doing that, we started seeing some really positive results. Um, and so I started kind of making the shift back into using Young Living products at that point. Um, that was, we had, I mean, it was a slow transition back. Uh, we added stuff to our ER orders as we were able and just started, you know, um, transferring what we we're using to Young Living um, as we were able to do that budget wise. And uh, so that was, uh, we did that for a couple of years, just used our products for ourselves didn't really pursue much further than that. Um, and then uh, two, about two years ago, we bought our house. I um, quit school, stayed home, and uh, he transferred jobs. And that was kind of when we decided that we were going to start pursuing Young Living a little bit more seriously, start sharing a little bit more intentionally, um, and see if we couldn't build a business out of this. Um, and kind of get our family a little bit better set up for our future. Um, and since then, we have completely replaced everything in our house with Young Living products. Um, all of our cleaning products are Young Living, either that we bought or um, DIY products that I've made using Young Living oils um, and that kind of thing. Uh, like my dishwasher detergent is uh, baking soda, borax, citric acid and Young Living oils. Uh, so that kind of thing. Um, because of that and because of the choices that we've made along the way, we have a completely uh, chemical free home as far as we've been able to push it. Um, there's still a few things that uh, haven't been able to uh, get rid of as far as um, some various uh, car chemicals, that kind of thing, um, because my husband's a mechanic, but all of our household products are thieves products, everything, all of our personal care products are uh, Young Living products. I've got, I mean, I have oils all over my desk. I've got stuff everywhere. Um, and so that has been a really positive environment for us to bring uh, our son into. He's six months old now. And so all of his personal care products are all Young Living as well, uh, which means no harsh chemicals on his skin. Um, and I don't, it, it gives me peace of mind because I don't have to worry about what I'm doing and then making sure I don't have anything nasty on my hands when I go and grab him um, because he's done playing. So that's kind of a little bit of our background and I'm going to um, jump into why, why we've done this, why this is such a great idea, but that's kind of a little bit of where we're coming from. Uh, so why is this important? Um, according to the cancer.org site, 609,000 Americans will die from cancer this year, uh, or 1,670 deaths per day. One in three men and one in five women will have cancer by the age of 60. Cancer is the second most common cause of death exceeded only by heart disease. The American Cancer Society says only 5% of these cases are from gene defects. That means 90 to 95% are under our control, caused by excess weight, tobacco, or exposure to toxic chemicals. It's what we're allowing into our homes. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health studied 2,983 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic ingredients. 314 caused biological mutations, 218 caused reproductive problems, 164 that they knew of caused cancerous tumors, but were allowed in the United States because even though they are banned in other countries around the world. To protect your family, begin with making changes in your home and start with the biggest offenders first. Start with laundry soap, dishwasher soap, cleaning supplies, candles, and plug-ins. Toss the candles and plug-ins. A candle is filled with dangerous petrochemicals. 
Dr. Andrew Sled, who specializes in environmental toxicology, says burning a candle in your home for two hours is the same as smoking a pack of cigarettes. Forty percent of candles are made with wicks containing lead, which is not safe to breathe. By making a swap from candles to a diffuser with lemon oil, you're supporting your immune system instead of harming it. So let's take a look at some of these products and their carcinogen ratings, because no one else is going to be the gatekeeper of your home except for you. 26 seconds after exposure, chemicals are found in measurable amounts in the human body. The average woman applies 300 chemicals a day to her body. 80 of those are before breakfast. The top 10 most dangerous chemicals in your home are air fresheners, like plug-ins or candles, chemical cleaning supplies for your counters, floors, toilets, drain and oven cleaners, furniture polish, dishwasher soap, and dish soap are also all culprits. So what do you think the number one poison in your family is? Laundry soap, fabric softener, and dryer sheets. This is because you're poisoned three different ways. As you're washing your clothes, it's filling your home with chemicals, then you wear your clothes all day long and have topical exposure to your skin, and then the clothes out gas all night long in your closet or your camper as you sleep, and you breathe chemicals in there too. If you make that one swap to Thieves Laundry Soap uh, after this class, I feel like we really, we really did a good thing today. Um, and I think you really will too. You'll notice a difference in how you feel. Other dangers in the home are hairspray, gel, shampoo and deodorant, uh, deodorant with aluminum is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. That information about the most dangerous chemicals in the home comes from a government study called the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Killer Household Chemicals. So you can look that up for yourself if you want uh, verification or just to learn more. So what happens when your body is chemically overloaded? Most of us feel it as lethargy, inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormones, hot flashes, stress, anxiety, and fear. If you face any of these issues, it's time to kick chemicals to the curb. You can control what you allow within the four walls of your home. You can cross some things off the list by going as close to toxic chemical free as you can in your home. My journey started with Young Living. Um, I'm not telling you that Young Living is going to change your health, but I'm telling you that if one of your triggers is chemicals, possibly in something you're putting on your skin, breathing in or consuming, it's time to kick that to the curb, get that out of your house. Um, my The reason that my journey started with Young Living and why so many other people's journeys have started with Young Living is their seed to seal pro promise on all 600 products at Young Living. It, seed to seal is the standard of purity for Young Living. That means there's no chemical overload. You can trust the name. Young Living is an essential oils company based out of Utah. The one thing that sets Young Living apart from all other companies is our seed to seal process, and we're gonna break down exactly what that means. We do not strip our constituents to make our oils smell better. We do not mix species of the same oil. We do not spray weed killers, pesticides, or herbicides, or use genetically modified seeds. We spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed our lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for the same plant. The industry standard is $60 per acre because spraying pesticides is much, much cheaper than hand weeding. Uh, we also do not distill with solvents like hexane. Our soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, glyphosate, or any poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. This is a map of all of our uh, farms around the world. We harvest at the exact time of day that Young Living's research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. We know when that peak is because of our extensive library on oils, the oldest and largest globally, compiled from nearly 30 years of research at farms on six different continents. Gary Young grew helichrysum essential oil at St. Marie's in Idaho then at Mona in Utah, then in the Mediterranean country of Croatia to watch its scores on our seed to seal testing. We don't always grow where it grows natively, we grow it where it grows best and produces the most effective oil for the body. Our farms are all over the world and you can visit them yourself, any of the farms, because they're completely open to the public. We test eight times at the farm, 
then again at Spanish Fork, Utah, and then again after bottling. We do 24 tests per batch to make sure the oils meet our standards. Then we do third-party testing with two different accredited, respected, independent labs. Young Living's oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were hand-trained by our founder, Gary Young himself. Young Living is a global leader in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually. That means that those that use the oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 6 million global members. Young Living is about integrity, hard work, and high standards. That is seed to seal, and that is why Young Living is different. Oops. Not yet. We're not ready for that yet. Okay. So what are essential oils? Essential oils are the most powerful part of the plant. They repair and restore the plant when it is attacked or injured. We use the oils in the home to replace harsh chemicals. Why do you want oils in your house? Because oils have none of the yuck that other stuff does. They are just a distilled or cold pressed plant. There are millions of uses, such as supporting systems in the human body like your cardiovascular system or your endocrine system, which affects your hormones, supporting your joints, your brain, or your liver. They can also be used to replace cleaning supplies. Thieves Cleaner is all that I use to wipe down my bathrooms, my stove, and my kitchen. I mop my floors with it. Um, I also use it to, I use it for dusting, I use it for cleaning out my vehicles, I use it for everything. It's made up of plants and essential oils. You can use, you can also use oils to replace your personal care products. Young Living has an entire line of shampoos, soaps, conditioners, eye creams, and face washes that are completely chemical free. If you use oil-infused supplements, you also get the benefit of the supplement along with the power of the oil. We also have a whole line of makeup that is 100% um, natural um, and is also infused with essential oils. Uh, so let's talk about sourcing. It matters where your oils come from. There's four different types of oils on the earth, authentic, manipulated, perfume, and synthetic. Excuse me. It's so important that you use only grade A oil because of the concentration in the bottle. It's like eating an entire apple tree sprayed with pesticide instead of just one apple. It makes no sense to go the extra mile to get away from the toxic chemicals and then use an oil laden with toxic chemicals. Let's take a look at a powerful video that shows the effect of spraying crops. Uh, this is a study that was done in Sweden and it's based on food. And essential oils are even more concentrated than food. So this can be an even bigger difference uh, when you're talking about oils versus the food. Um, it takes 60,000 rose blossoms to make an ounce of rose oil. The concentration of the pesticides sprayed on those plants is much higher. Look at what one month of clean eating and getting rid of chemicals can do to the level of chemical exposure in the human body. Grassy. Nope, it's not really. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go uh, grab my kiddo while we watch this. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. It costs more than normal mat. It becomes a stor skill when man is in many families. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. And it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. We eat all insects, plant and plant insects. We eat insects. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, So, everything in the kitchen is replaced, and they begin eating only organic. Then, Another round of samples are taken, and now almost all the pesticides have disappeared. 
Vi vet ju väldigt lite om långtidseffekter av att äta mat som har besprutats. Speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. Okay. Um, King's happily playing in his playpen for now. We'll see how that goes. Um, so that's a pretty significant difference that was noted in that study there. Um, just switching over to organic foods instead of um, non-organic that's sprayed with all kinds of pesticides and nasty stuff. So if you take that and you think about the fact that oils are even more concentrated than the food, you can imagine what would happen to your body if you're using oils that are full of pesticides, chemical solvents, and that kind of thing. So that's why we make such a big deal about seed to seal and why that's the motivation for so many people for sticking with Young Living. So if you save 30 cents when you buy the grapes at the grocery store that have been sprayed with chemicals instead of going for the organic ones, it may have just rocked your world. Um, and I'm not sorry. <laughs> get the organic. It may not be perfect, but it's better. And then you can get the veggie soak and clean them all up when they get home too. That's why Seed to Seal is so powerful. It's not always about getting the cheapest version of a product that you can. It's about the quality of what you're bringing into your home. So now that we've talked about purity, we're gonna switch gears and talk about thieves. We're gonna do a little bit of history, a little bit of math, and maybe touch on a little bit of the science too. Uh, okay, so what is thieves? Thieves is this cute little bottle here. It's a blend of five powerful Young Living oils. It's spicy, hot, uplifting, and energizing. It's all of the things. It's so fantastic. Um, it's one of the most famous oils in all of Young Living and one of the oils that put this company on the map back in the early 90s. Thieves Oil is in Thieves Household Cleaner. So to kick this section off, we're going to take a look at a couple of, um, go look at a quick video, and then uh, we're going to look at a couple other before and after shots too. This pan in the video has been through 11 dishwasher loads and has had a full scrubbing with a steel wool pad. Um, and then she attacked it with Steve's. I, we're just gonna scrub it and show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple, it's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can, it's not going anywhere, right? So we grabbed some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and Thieves. Now we're not going to use all of the thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in, and yep, just like a little sprinkle. We'll put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. See if we can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cooked, I put a couple of drops of lemon and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. Rachel, put even more and she wants a nice good paste. Yep. Now we're gonna take it over to the sink. Let's do a good rinse on it. Dun -dun -dun, following the pan. Let's see after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things with this really nasty non scrubbable pan looks like. And should I you in five, four, three, two, bam, fuse cleaner to the rescue. All right, so how fantastic is that? Personally, uh, what I use for that kind of situation is actually a paste that I keep mixed up. Um, it's baking soda, Thieves Household Cleaner, uh, lemon oil, and then just a splash of vinegar. 
Um, and I will, uh, I'll share that recipe um, in the post that I do with this class. Um, but that just makes it a little bit easier for me. I keep it in a jar on my counter instead of um, having to go look for the baking soda every time. But either way, it works fantastic. Um, and takes stuff, I mean, stuff that's burnt on real bad takes it right off. So, okay, so we're going to talk about a couple other uh, testimonies that people have uh, given. These are uh, ones that Sarah Harnish has curated. Um, and then I will also include a few of my own. And when I add this, when I put this up on my blog, so that you can see some stuff that I've done myself. So uh, this one right here, this is uh, hard water stains on the left over here. Um, this sink was cleaned with diluted household cleaner, uh, just a cap full of cleaner and a spray bottle of water. The sink was cleaned with a sponge and a few sprays of Thieves cleaner in under two minutes. The cleaner even got rid of the lime buildup under the sink knobs with no hard scrubbing. This is also uh, hard water buildup and rust stains, I believe. Um, also scrubbed with diluted thieves cleaner in a spray bottle. Just a couple of minutes, spray it on there, scrub it on down, good to go. Uh, this over here on the left are hard water stains in a tub that were attacked uh, several times with a few different harsh chemicals uh, before thieves was brought into the mix. Uh, she says, in this case, the owner made a paste with Thieves Cleaner and baking soda, just like we did on the pan. Let it sit on the tub walls for 15 minutes and then scrubbed it off and rinsed it down. So then on the right, we've got coffee grounds burnt to the bottom of a stainless steel pan. They were removed with undiluted Thieves Cleaner and the pan looks just brand new now. So um, that's pretty fantastic. I don't know about you, but I burn stuff on the bottom of my pans all the time, especially my Instant Pot. I love that thing. I tend to burn stuff in it though. Just a little bit on the bottom, but it's enough that by the end of the night when you want to clean up, it's gross. So I let it soak. I usually let it soak overnight because I would rather tackle the dishes in the morning and I don't want it getting super hard and nasty um, before I go to tackle it. So I'll let it soak overnight and then in the morning, dump it out. I throw uh, a scoop of my paste in and um, scrub it down with my scrub brush or um, one of those like SOS pads or whatever, good to go. So here we go, whole new way to clean, total game changer. Um, this, the one of the best things about this that I love is that you don't have to worry about opening windows when you're cleaning, turning on the bathroom fan when you're cleaning the bathroom. I remember as a kid, um, before we got introduced to Young Living, cleaning the bathroom, we had like little bathrooms with no windows. And my dad would walk by and I wouldn't have the fan on. And he'd be like, you have to turn the fan on. You're going to like kill your lungs. Um, don't have to do that anymore. Like Thieves smells fantastic. Not only is it not burning your lungs and like causing issues, it smells great. Um, the other thing is that kids can help with this. Okay. Um, teach your kids how to help with chores. Hand them a spray bottle of Thieves and set them free. Like, don't even worry about it. Um, I recommend teaching them not to ingest it, but you don't have to worry about their lungs. You don't have to worry about their skin. If they're wiping down, you know, the windows and they pick a hair out of their mouth, nobody's going to have a panic attack. No big deal. Um, I can clean while baby wearing. Don't have to worry about the fumes with his brand new sensitive six-month-old lungs. Don't have to worry if he reaches his hand out and grabs my rag. Um, doesn't bother me a little bit. I just, a friend of mine just posted on Instagram that she was mopping her floor and her daughter came running over and wanted to help clean. So she handed her a spray bottle of thieves and a rag and set her loose. She went and cleaned all the windows, wiped down a whole bunch of stuff, came back to help with the floor, like total, total freedom to get the whole family involved because you don't have to worry about it. Um, pictured here is the Thieves Premium Starter Kit. There's a couple of different starter kits. Um, my personal favorite is the one with the oils in it because I think it's the best value. Um, it's the most product for the lowest, for the biggest discount. However, if you're looking to make a complete switch in your house um, right away, the Thieves Starter Kit is the way to go because it hits like every room in the house 
all in one fell swoop. Um, these are, this includes your membership. So you get 24% off all of your future orders. Plus everything in here is significantly discounted um, for getting in the starter kit. So uh, you get a um, 15 milliliter bottle of Thieves, the toothpaste, the mouthwash, two bottles of household cleaner, two bottles of foaming hand soap, two bottles of Thieves spray, which is a hot, hot commodity right now. I love to keep those in my purse and my diaper bag, uh, spraying down tables at a restaurant, uh, shopping carts, changing tables, um, whatever you don't want to touch. Spray it down with some Thieves first, and um, then you don't have to be so worried about it. And uh, let's see, three bottles of, I think it's actually two bottles of waterless hand sanitizer. I think that's a typo there. Um, uh, 15 or a five milliliter bottle of Stress Away, which is my favorite oil. Uh, <laughs> and Aroma Glide Roller Fitment, which I can show you. So it's what is right here in the top. This makes this a roller. So your regular bottles, have tops like this and you turn it sideways and drip the oil out. Um, with this you get a little it's like a uh, ball bearing essentially and you can just roll it right on and you're good to go. This is actually this is a raindrop roller that I made up for myself it's not anything um, we can talk, we'll talk about that a different day but so you'll get two one or one one roller fitment, I think. So you'll get one of these, it just pops, it comes loose, you can pop it in the top of any of your oil bottles, um, either the Stress Away or Thieves that comes in the kit, or you can hang on to it till you get other oils and you're like, that's the one I want my roller top on. Pop it right in there, you just pop. Uh, this plastic piece comes right out like this, uh, and they make little tools that do this, but you can do it with your fingers. And then, you can take that right out and put the roller top in. So, little pro tip for you right there. Um, you also get uh, two packets of the Ningxia, um, Ningxia Red, which is our whole food supplement. I did a whole class on that that um, you can find either on my blog or on my YouTube channel um, if you want to look for that. Um, <laughs> I think that's everything you might, I think that's everything that comes in that kit. We, I can double check that, but I believe that's everything. I'm pretty sure the, the mints don't come in the thieves kit, but I could be wrong. Um, so that's one of the best ways. If you want to like, shh, get rid of all the chemicals in your house all at once, um, the thieves kit is the way to do that. There is also... A Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle. So we're going to touch on Essential Rewards a little bit deeper on here in just a minute. Um, but this is the best way to save money on Thieves after you become a member. When you get your Thieves Starter Kit, you get 24% off for life. It's a wholesale membership for life. When you sign up for Essential Rewards, which ships Young Living products out to you each month on a date that you get to choose, you get 10% off of that right off the bat that you earn back in points. So you get your 24% off your membership discount, and then on your essential rewards orders, starting your first month, you earn 10% in points that you get back that you can turn in for free product. So this means Young Living is essentially paying you 10% back for buying your laundry and dish soap, and there's no chemical yuck inside. After four months, you'll get 20% back, and after 25 months, you'll get 25% back just for buying cleaning supplies, essential oils, supplements, personal care products, whatever you're buying, just for buying them on essential rewards. Zero grocery stores do that. My Amazon credit card doesn't even do that. If you get on essential rewards before you close out the sale of your kit, that kit counts towards free oils and points. You can get 10 points back right there just for buying your kit, plus you get whatever the free oil is for Essential Rewards members that month from Young Living. That's why I recommend you get on Essential Rewards right away. You can cancel anytime, so there's no fee. 
just a house full of toxin-free cleaning supplies and other uh, personal care items just for you. Um, the next step after that is to get plugged into all of our core four classes, um, all of which I have done in our, on our, they're on my blog. Um, we've got a couple new versions of the Minksha Red and Savvy Minerals class. Um, or not the Savvy Minerals, the CBD class coming very soon. Um, but we have old versions of them on the blog right now that you can go watch um, right away. And then as soon as we can get together again and do classes, we've also got some classes that we're gonna schedule um, both in Wisconsin and here in Missouri. So when you know better with your medicine cabinet, your supplements cabinet, or your makeup, you can do better. And that's what these classes are all about. And that's what we're here for. So let's talk about what, oh, here's, here's, you can screenshot this if you want. This gives you a really good picture of um, what you're going to earn with essential rewards. Uh, 10 months, 10 points for the first three months, 20% for months four through 24. And then from two years on, you earn 25% in points. Plus you get free products at um, 100, 190, 250, and 300 PV. Um, and then you also get loyalty gifts the first, every three months for the first year and then every 12 months after that. So let's talk about what we use Thieves Cleaner for. Um, oops, I'm Atari. Uh, here's a couple ideas. Put it undiluted in a roll-on and make a stain stick for your clothes. Pour it on two spots in your carpeting to get rid of stains. Let it sit in pots and pans with burnt food stuck to the bottom. You can use it in a spray bottle as a surface cleaner for kitchen, bathroom counters, sink, stove, and bathtub. Put it in a bucket of hot water and mop the floor with it. Uh, thieves cleaner and some baking soda makes your own scrub for uh, your oven that you can use without any harsh chemicals. Done that, worked great. You can refresh musty carpeting by putting thieves oil and some baking soda, let it absorb, and then sprinkle it over the carpets and then vacuum it up after a little while. After washing your clothes with Thieves Laundry Soap, you can add four or five drops to a dry washcloth, toss it in the dryer, and make your clothes smell fresh. Um, putting Thieves on top of anything sticky. Uh, one drop of Thieves on anything stuck to an object or a kid. Um, you can work it right off. I also use lemon for that uh, as well. Clean your dishwasher by running an empty cycle with Thieves Household Cleaner or add a drop to the cardboard insert of your toilet paper rolls and have fresh thieves smell all over your bathroom. Uh, okay, moving on. Thieves is also some of the best glass cleaner replacement that I've ever used. You can spray it right on your windows, takes all the gunk off, and um, I just use it with regular paper towels and I have zero issues with streaking. Some people find that if you mix it a little bit lighter, then they like it better. I just use my regular 30 to 1 ratio in all of my spray bottles in the house, spray it on my glass, cleans right off. There's nothing yucky in thieves, just plants and plant-based materials. You can literally replace everything under your counter with one bottle of thieves. So what about thieves oil? That also comes in the starter kit. Why do you want it? The oil is a lot more concentrated than thieves cleaner and the oil does not contain the other plant ingredients that allow the oil to be evenly spread through the cleaning solution. So if you try to make thieves cleaner home out of the thieves oil, you totally can, but you're going to end up with oil and water so it won't be as effective. So here's a few uses for thieves essential oil. You can put some on your feet and spine for immune support. Dilute it with coconut or olive oil if you're putting it on kids or uh, our V6 carrier oil. Take Thieves Vitality internally for the same reasons. A uh, great recipe for that is 10 drops of Thieves Vitality, eight drops of oregano vitality, and two drops of frankincense vitality in a veggie capsule. Uh, those are good to take hourly for sinus support if that's something that you're looking for. You can add a drop of Thieves Vitality to the toothpaste uh, on your toothbrush if you want to feel fresh. I've also uh, heard that orange is really good for adding to your uh, Thieves toothpaste. I have found that that's very, it's supposed to help uh, whiten, I think, but it also just tastes really good. Uh, so you put Orange Vitality on your toothbrush if you want to. Put it in the diffuser as a fresh fall blend. It has cinnamon and clove in it, so it makes a really nice, warm, spicy smell. 
Uh, clove also has a numbing effect to it. So if you have um, any tooth issues, you can put thieves on your teeth to kind of soothe that until you can get to see a specialist about that, a professional about that. Um, all right, so here it's time for our history class really quick. We're going to talk for a minute about thieves and what's in it. The thieves blend contains clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon. It's based on the legend of the four thieves in Marseille, France, dating from the time of the outbreak of the bubonic plague. Century after century, from the 1300s to the 1700s, outbreaks claimed up to half of the population of Europe. There was an especially nasty outbreak between 1593 and 1608. About that time, an aromatic legend developed around a brew called Marseille vinegar, or Four Thieves vinegar. As history has it, the group allegedly confessed they used it with protection against the plague while they robbed the bodies of the dead. There are a variety of recipes out there, but they all included rosemary tops, dried sage flowers, fresh rue, camphor, garlic cloves, and vinegar, which were to steep for seven or eight days. The vinegar was noted in a number of famous medical books published later on, including the Pharmacologia from 1825. This page here is a snippet from that original book almost 200 years ago. As the legend goes, these thieves covered themselves in the herbs and essential oils mixture before robbing the bodies of the dead. They were a mix of spicers, perfumers, and embalmers that had carried this recipe through their families for generations. The magistrate eventually caught up with them and was going to behead them, but offered them amnesty if they explained how they used the thieves' mix. Gary Young, pictured here, is the founder of Young Living and is the most responsible for the story reaching the legendary status that it has today. He created the Thieves' Blend in 1994 for immune support as the result of his study at Warwick University in London. Gary said, quote, I must tell you that I've read 17 different versions of the thieves' story. Some claim there were four thieves, and some claim there were as many as 40. Most of the legends took place in the 15th century, but some put the date in the 18th century. The formulas varied from one story to the next, but through my research, I was led to four key botanicals that were mentioned again and again. Clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and lemon, four of the same ingredients that make up the Thieves' Oil Blend today. If you thought that you were going to get through our Thieves' School today without a little bit of science class, think again. Um, we're going to bring in one of our top science gurus to explain how to use some of these products the most effectively. Um, this is the latest from the CDC about ways to mitigate the spread of pathogens directly from Young Living's Chief Science Officer, Dr. Michael Book. Many have asked how Young Living hand sanitizer is different if it also contains alcohol, um, but not all alcohol is made in the same way. Ours is denatured using peppermint oil, which makes all the difference. You get the power of the alcohol with the ingredients that you want to see. So Mike is going to tell us how to use the hand sanitizer, soap, and spray most effectively. Hi everyone. It seems like lately everyone is worried about transmission of diseases. And I just was looking at the CDC or the Center for Disease Control website and they have some really good recommendations on how you can mitigate transmitting uh, diseases. One of the main things they recommend is hand washing, believe it or not. They recommend using a good soap. I just happen to have one here. And it's interesting to note that most people actually wash their hands the wrong way. We tend to do this underwater, and that's actually wrong because what we're doing is washing the back surfaces of our hands when the important part of our hands to clean are the surfaces that touch things. So it's the fingertips and the thumb. So we should really be doing this underwater. And the CDC says to use a good soap under running water for at least 20 seconds. And really scrub your fingertips and then scrub under your nails and then rinse thoroughly. Because that's how we transmit disease. We tend to touch things and then touch our faces. And particularly touching your eyes is a great way to get an infection quickly. So they recommend hand soap and washing thoroughly. If you're not uh, at a place where you can access soap and water, they also recommend using hand sanitizers with alcohol levels higher than 60%, like our Thieves hand sanitizer. And again, they recommend using plenty of hand sanitizer to thoroughly wet your hands and then rubbing your hands and especially your fingertips and thumbs together until they're dry to let that alcohol have a good effect. And finally, they also have some really good information about sanitizing the surfaces around you. And
and they recommend using sanitizers with at least 70% ethanol, like our thieves spray. And they recommend spraying surfaces liberally and then wiping them thoroughly. So I hope you will all practice these tips and we can really avoid transmission of pathogens. All right, um, one second here. Still happy, good news. Um, okay, so we are also going to um, look up how strong of a surface cleaner this is. Um, these swab tests that we're about to see are the same type of tests used in the food industry to test unclean counter, uh, unclean counters near food prep areas. So this is Young Living leader Rachel Cipriano. She made up a spray bottle of Thieves Cleaner, one capful of cleaner to a spray bottle of water, then rubbed some raw chicken on her counter to see if Thieves would get it clean. So let's see what the result is. Nasty chicken on my counter. Get really good and slimy. And then I'm going to do the first test just to um, see that it's dirty. So I have to swab the surface, and then when I put it into the little solution, it will turn a color. Green means clean, and then the darker purple it gets, the dirtier it is. So I snap it into the solution. And then, oh, it didn't go. There we go. And then shake it for five seconds. And you can see it's a dark purple. So it's contaminated. It's not a clean surface. There is really chicken juice all over. I'm going to give that a quick wipe. And the chicken juice up. And spray it down with our thieves. Let it sit for just a second. So this is what we use everywhere in our house, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, it's all we use, everything. And I've always trusted that it works, but I know a lot of people kind of wanted proof. It's kind of hard to believe that cleaning with plants is just as effective as the chemical cleaners that you find in the grocery store. Okay, so we've wiped it down with Steve's cleaner. Now I have a second test swab. Oh wait, you're supposed to put water on it. It's not supposed to be dry. So, um, because that's a dry surface now, I'm just wetting it with water. And now I can swab it. Okay. And again, just snapping it into the solution. And a quick shake. And you can see it's green. So the green means clean, and you can see that was the purple when it was contaminated, and then the green after the thieves. All right, so how fantastic is that? That's pretty amazing. Um, I've had tons of people tell me that uh, there's no way that my thieves cleaner works, and I, I swear people think I am just living like filthy. Um, because they're convinced that I don't use cleaners, but I do. I just don't use ones that um, are harming my body or my family. So what about the thieves cleaner that comes in your starter or ER kit? Are the ingredients inside safe? Let's take a closer look. Um, these are all of the ingredients in, um, in the household cleaner. Uh, you can then go uh, into your kitchen and grab the cleaner under your cabinet right now and look at the label on that one. If there's an ingredient that you don't recognize, type it into Google with the words dangers of and start to look at what you're breathing in or putting on your skin. Um, if you want um, corroboration, you can do that with any of this stuff on this list as well. Um, Sarah has already done this. I believe this is her graphic. Um, she's already done that. That's why um, the explanations are over here on the screen that they are. But if you want to corroborate that yourself, feel free. Um, type that into Google, look it up, and see what you think about that. 
So it doesn't matter how affordable it is or how effective it is if you can't afford it, right? So let's talk about affordability and break it down. Um, this is where that math comes in. Um, and that's why I love having a class that someone else has done the math for me because that was like my least awesome subject in school. Um, so uh, Sarah went and looked at one of the top organic brands on the market and it comes out to 27 cents per ounce. Thieves Cleaner comes in at five cents per ounce. Once you, um, uh, once you like mix it out and use it, um, that's diluted. So with one bottle of Thieves Cleaner, you can make 25 diluted spray bottles. And each bottle, Sarah says, lasts for a week. Mine lasts me a whole lot longer than that. So maybe I am just a mess. Uh, <laughs> but so that'll be a personal usage but certainly it makes a significant amount. That, and that's a 15 ounce, um, I believe she's using like a 15, 16 ounce spray bottle there. That's what's pictured anyway, um, which is even stronger sometimes than what I mix my cleaner at. So um, you can obviously play with the amounts and what it comes out to, but it comes out to super, super affordable. Um, one capful of thieves cleaner to a spray bottle of water and you're off and running. I did, I even did a price comparison um, the last time I was at Menards and I found um, a great big bottle of one of the name brand cleaners on the shelf is about a hundred ounces. And for the 100 ounce bottle of cleaner, it came out to the same price as um, the 14 ounce bottle of thieves cleaner once you um once you factor in for diluting the thieves cleaner because it's so concentrated that you would never use it full strength so once you you once you dilute out the thieves cleaner and you use the other cleaner full strength like you're supposed to it ends up being cheaper per ounce than or it ends up being the same price per ounce for this clean plant-based awesome cleaner compared to a chemical laden lung burning chemical just saying um, okay, so what else can we use thieves for? Um, we also have thieves um, uh, veggie wash is another one that we really, really like. Uh, so we've got an entire line of thieves products. It includes bar soap, cough drops, dental floss, dish soap, dishwasher powder, um, mints, fruit and veggie wash, and even thieves wipes. Uh, so let's take all of those come like super quick, ready, pull them out of the box and you're ready to go doesn't really take any work unless you want it to. So we're gonna look at the veggie wash first. Thieves is super good for preserving fruits and vegetables. Um, I love to use the fruit and veggie wash on my veggies when I get them home from the grocery store um, to get all the grime and stuff off, people's fingerprints, pesticides, waxes off of apples, that kind of thing, get all that off. Um, this here is the story of two pumpkins. One pumpkin was sprayed with thieves and the other was not. One is happy and one is not. As I'm putting groceries away, I like to pull each fruit or veggie out, pop it in a large bowl of water with a cap full of fruit and veggie wash, and let it soak for about five minutes and then uh, kind of rub it off and rinse it. That helps to get all the gunk and dirt off your produce before you put it in the fridge. Um, if you are overwhelmed by the concept of oiling, thieves is a really great place to start. Oils are the gateway to natural health. Oops, pushing buttons over here. They're like fast food, natural health. Apply and keep on going. You don't have to get down into the nitty gritty. You don't have to know everything before you can use them. Just grab them and go. There's no tincturing, no fermenting, no growing weird things in jars on the counter. All the hard work is done for you at the Young Living distilleries and out in the fields. Then it goes from Young Living's farms right to your home. In one single order, you can knock out most of the toxic chemicals in your home with Thieves Cleaner alone. It's not going to break the bank. It's a simple, easy gateway into the world of oiling. You're protecting your family from more than a dozen different cleaning solutions with one single bottle of Thieves Cleaner. Thieves Laundry Soap also makes another very simple swap. That's another one that um, you can use straight if you want to. I dilute mine, and I'm going to do a post 
Um, I've got a bottle, I've got a big jar coming um, tomorrow, I believe, in the mail. Um, and once that comes, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with my thieves, with my thieves laundry soap now. Um, so that's one, like you can make it a little bit more complicated, but if you wanna just buy it and use it straight, go for it. If you wanna just buy it, cut it in half or three quarters, whatever you wanna do, and just dilute with water, you can. I'm gonna give mine a little bit of a boost because my husband's a mechanic. Um, so we have lots of diesel smells and stuff coming home. Um, and then I also have a baby, so lots of other stuff going on as well. Um, if you don't have a starter kit yet, you can get started with the Thieves Premium Starter Kit or the Oily Starter Kit, either way. Um, and then I strongly recommend adding the Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle uh, to that to clear it out all in one fell swoop. If you don't want to do that all in one month, you can do your Thieves ER Kit next month. So let's take a quick look at what comes in that starter kit. But I think I'm gonna go get the baby first. Just one second here. Hey, come here, buddy. Okay. All right, we are back. Here you go. You can have these. Yeah, you can have those. All right, so we're going to take a look at what comes in the Thieves starter kit real quick. Obviously, this is the uh, Thieves household cleaner. Comes with two bottles. Um, quick pointer. Um, if you want to, you can take this undiluted, put it in, you can get bottles like this um, on Amazon. They have lots of different colors and styles, whatever. You can get um, bottles like that and then they come with roller tops like this. Or if you're really cheap, um, you can get roller bottles like this from Young Living. This is a deeper leaf roller bottle, I think. You can get one of these roller bottles, use the oils, then pop the top out, put your thieves cleaner in here, and now you have a stain stick. Okay. So you can take this on the go with you, to roll on, um, if you drop food on your shirt, whatever, or put it over by the washing machine to pre-treat your clothes uh, with these household cleaners as a stain stick. So there's another little hack for you. Um, just use it as a spot treatment and then toss it, toss it in the washing machine when you get home with your Thieves laundry soap and you're good to go. Whoops. Sorry, bud. Here you go. All right, Thieves hand soap. Here's one for your kitchen and for your bathroom. Uh, comes right in your Thieves starter kit. This is a foamy hand soap, so a little bit goes a long ways. Um, if you even if you have a whole bunch of people that are in and out and washing hands all the time, excuse me, this lasts a lot longer than liquid soap. Uh, we got Thieves Hand Sanitizer. Comes next, you get two bottles of that in the starter kit. Um, a lot of people like to keep this in like the door pocket of their van or car. I don't personally do that because I live in Missouri. Any extreme heat that happens in a car is not good for the plastic. Um, it kind of gets like bloaty and hard and it's ugly. So I keep mine in my purse um, or my diaper bag um, and a few other places. I have them stashed everywhere. Um, so that, but that's super handy. If you keep it handy um, in your purse or whatever, you can use it uh, at the gas station. When you run through the drive through you forget to get a napkin. Or if you just, you know, get back in the car and your hands feel grimy for some reason. Um, these are also super good for your kids' backpacks and um, anybody that leaves the house. <laughs> these hand sanitizer kills 99% of all germs and bacteria. Just like Mike said, if you're not near a water source to wash your hands, the CDC recommends a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Thieves hand sanitizer fits the bill and does not come with harsh ingredients, so you know you're picking the, the best for your family. Next we have, um, Oops. Next, we've got uh, Thieves Aroma Bright Toothpaste. Um, 
I like to, I love the Aroma Bright. I also really like uh, the whitening. So get the Aroma Bright in your starter kit. And then if you decide you want to make a switch to the Thieves uh, whitening, you totally can. We also have Thieves Floss and then you can um, swish with the Thieves mouthwash and you're good to go fresh and sparkly clean. Uh, next we've got Thieves Spray. Oh, this is the Thieves mouthwash, my bad. Um, this stuff is pretty, it's, it's fairly strong. It's got both cinnamon vitality and clove vitality in it, but it's really great for sensitive teeth. Mm. This mouthwash is free from alcohol, synthetic dyes, and all artificial flavors. So even kids and teenagers can use this if you want. Now we're on to Thieves Spray. I love this stuff. This is so fantastic. Um, this is the other thing that I keep in my diaper bag and my purse. And this I would keep in my car um because it's not the same kind of plastic as the uh hand sanitizer and you don't have to squeeze it it's got a pop top or it's got a spray top here you go quit throwing your toys on the floor um this is great for your shopping cart handles um or you can keep it in your bag and spray door handles bathroom stalls stall handles um the handles on the toilets unless you're like me and you just flush with your foot that works too um, but then you got to spray your way back out of the stall. So keep this handy. Keep this on you. Um, I keep forgetting there's animation. All right. Uh, these mints, these are delicious. I love these. Um, these are great for uh, after a meal. Uh, if you ever are kind of like talking and you catch a whiff of yourself and you're like, whoo, pop a thieves mint, you'll be in really good shape. All right, Thieves Essential Oil. Get some of this on your feet at night or on a diffuser. This is the, the absolute best oil for immune support. Um, top notch, bar none, my favorite. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about Ningxia Red. Um, if I had to pick one Young Living supplement, this is the one I would do. Absolutely, 100%. Um, it's all about, it's all about antioxidants. It's so, so good for every system in your body. Um, if you haven't been through our Ningxia class yet, uh, you can um, watch the one on our on my blog. Uh, there's a Ningxia Red class there. Uh, we're also going to do one again in a couple of weeks. Sarah's going to release a brand new one, and uh, so as soon as that's released, we're gonna I'm gonna do that one also. So uh, you can stick around for that. But this is hands down top supplement ever. Yeah. Uh, if you're feeling overwhelmed and you're kind of like, whoa, girl, slow down. This next oil is going to be for you. Um, this is the uh, intro card to that class. Stress away. Okay, this is my favorite oil. Um, this has, it has like vanilla and lime in it. I don't even know, but it smells like heaven in a bottle. I can't even tell you right now. Um, open this. You can open this first before you dig in anything else in your starter kit. Rub it on your hands, take a deep whiff, and then you're, you'll be ready to, to jump into all this other stuff in your starter kit. Feel a little bit less like you're venturing into a whole unknown world. Um, okay, so we're going to take this to the next level with the Thieves 30-Day Challenge. Um, we are all about training you far beyond just getting your kit in the door. Um, so once you get your kit, <coughs> excuse me, and it shows up, um, we'll make sure you get your hands on, um, this 30 day challenge. And if you don't see it from us after you get your kit, then just give us a shot and be like, Hey, I thought you said I was going to get a challenge card. Oh, I will get it in the mail to you or I can email it to you. Um, sometimes I forget things. Um, this is going to help you get every single drop out of your starter kit and get help you get used to just using your products because that's the best way to notice the difference and to give your body the benefit of all of this new stuff that you just got in the door is to use it. So um, it'll give you, I think it gives you like 18 individual challenges, 16. Uh, 16 individual challenges plus a couple of bonuses um to give you each day it gives you a new something new to try 
Um, if you're ready for the next level and you haven't done it yet, um, Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle or any of the ER bundles are a great place to uh, get hooked up. There's also a Ningxia Bundle and an Everyday Oils Bundle. And then you also get, excuse me, you also get um, promo, free promos from Young Living as well. Um, as an Essential Reward member, you get them at 100, 190, 250, and 300. If you're not on ER, then the promo start at 190. Uh, the, let's see, the Essential, the Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle um, is actually $205 of these products for $118, which is really, it's a huge, fantastic deal. Um, and that comes with um, that's got the yeah, that's the rewards kit. That's got two of uh, the spray, the hand soap, hand sanitizer, cleaner, plus a bottle of oil, um, toothpaste, and mouthwash. So that's a really great deal. Um, if you want to add a few things to your um, ER kit to hit the 300 PV promo level. Um, after you pop this baby in there, you can get the laundry soap, bar soap, dish soap, and whitening toothpaste. Um, also, the Thieves Home Cleaning Kit you can add as well. That is super. I love the Thieves Home Cleaning Kit because it comes with um, a cleaning bucket a carrying case and extra oils, and maybe a bottle of household cleaner, I can't remember. But it comes with the greatest stainless steel bucket, which is why I bought it, because now I have a stainless steel bucket that I use um, when I want to clean with my Thieves Household Cleaner, and it's fantastic. All right, so if you're ready to sign up, um, I will include my link in my blog post and um, in, the com in the description of this video, um, because I know somebody is watching this and going, I need that. I got to do this. This is what my family needs right now. Um, I'll include my link that will give you full access to our education group. Um, you'll be able to participate in more classes like this, but then also we'll do in-person classes and you get full access to um, me. <laughs> Message me anytime, call me, text me, whatever you need to do. Uh, with questions, uh, if you have concerns, if you need help with something, I'm always um, happy to offer my assistance. And then if I don't have an answer, I will go up the up the chain of command and find someone that does have the answer for you. If you want to sit down with some of your friends, um, I will absolutely come and teach for you. Obviously, now is not a great time to do in-person classes excuse me, I will do online classes for you and your friends. And then once everything settles back down and we're all visiting again, we can all get together in your living room or mine and um, talk about all of this stuff some more. Hang on. Um, so you can start small, you can start slow, or you can dive right in. Um, but just... Start with baby steps. Get your starter kit, either the oily starter kit or the thief starter kit, whatever, whichever one speaks to you the most. Um, take it one month at a time. Focus on um, your cleaner, your laundry soap. Get rid of the chemicals that you use on a daily basis. Get some oils in your hands. Learn how to use them. Pick your favorites. Um, the thieves, or I'm sorry, the essential oil starter kit comes with 12 different oils. That gives you a great chance to try a whole bunch of stuff out. It also comes with a diffuser, which is the easiest way to use your oils. Um, and so that's how I got started, was I got an oily starter kit, popped some oils in my diffuser, and just hit the ground running. Um, so I can help you do that too. Uh, let's see, we've got, we've got, this is a cute, oops. All right, this is a cute little scavenger hunt video that Sarah did with her family. Um, and this just shows all the different places that she found Young Living products in her house. Oops. Come on.
So obviously we've got oils everywhere. Um, I have oils in every room of this house. Um, diffusers in just about every room of the house, they're all over the place. So let's talk about your checklist for once you leave this class. We're gonna get you a starter kit if you don't have one already. Whichever one you decide is best, we can talk about. Uh, if you send me a message, I can help you find the best fit for you. Um, we're gonna get you on essential rewards so you can be earning points right away to turn in for free product. Um, when you become a member with us, you're going to get one of these cute little bags in the mail. It has all of my contact information so that I'm always reachable by you. Yep, let go of that. Thank you, sweetheart. You're also going to get a book called Fearless. Read that. That's going to help you get started with your oils. You're also going to get one of those Thieves uh, Challenge calendars that we talked about. Uh, so you can do that. And then we're going to get you into all of our other classes. Um, if we don't have any scheduled right away, I'll send you the links to all the video classes. But we've got um, all of our core four classes, um, the oils, the Ningxia, and the CBD. We keep those kind of in regular circulation so that there's always one coming up at some point. But I've got recordings of them now, too, so that if you are ready to dive right in and you don't want to wait, we got you covered. So um, that is going to be, that's where you want to get started. Um, you can do that by going to the link in my blog or send me a message if you want to talk about it first, and then I will help you get hooked up there. 
Okay, that's our Thieves 101 or 102 class. Finally, no technical difficulties this time, only a few little interruptions, but that's okay because they're the cutest interruptions ever. Yes, they are. Um, Young Living is easily the best and most one stop decision I've ever made um, for our chemical free journey. Um, it's going to help level the playing field for you as you get started or as you continue your journey. You've already started there. Um, we all know there's consequences for everything that we eat, breathe, put on our skin, etc. And this is um, one of the biggest steps forward that you can take to getting ahead of that and doing the best that you can for you and your family. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. I will be here for you. Otherwise, have an awesome week, guys. And we're going to see if we can end this. There we go. Have a good week, everybody.